My next guest quit her job in journalism to tell the story of black scuba divers searching for slave shipwrecks. What a journey. This month, Tara Roberts became the first black woman explorer and storyteller to ever grace the cover of National Geographic magazine. <laughs> Look at that. And she is sharing her stories on the National Geographic podcast series, Into the Depths. Black scuba divers are searching for shipwrecks from the transatlantic slave trade. It was like diving on a grave site. And honoring the 1.8 million Africans who were lost. I'm National Geographic explorer Tara Roberts, and I dropped everything to travel with these divers. Wow, joining us from our home in Atlanta, please welcome history maker Tara Roberts. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for joining us. I expected you to be under the sea, but I see you're in your home. I, I, first of all, congratulations on everything. What a journey. Oh, thank you so much. So take me back, because I mean, I know they, they describe it as you quitting your job in journalism, but you're still reporting. So you're still a journalist. So how do you define that you quit it to do this? So. In that moment, I actually wasn't working in journalism. Um, I was working for a nonprofit, but my my background is as a journalist, as a magazine editor, and I'd taken a little bit of a detour, and I was doing communications work for a nonprofit at the time. So you were you were a fish out of water. I mean, when you think about it, you're in this world and corporate office communications, but something was pulling you to do this. Um, what was that moment where you said, this is, I'm, as I said, a fish out of water? Well, it happened very accidentally. Um, I happened, so at the time I was living in Washington, D.C., and I happened to go visit the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Mm. And on the second floor of this museum is a picture. And it's a picture of a group of Black women primarily black women in wetsuits on a boat. And I had never seen black women in a group in wetsuits on a boat before. So it stopped me in my tracks. It made me super curious about who they were. And so I read the little information about them and it said that they were a part of this group called Diving with a Purpose. Yeah. And that part of their mission was to search for and help document slave shipwrecks. So I was... Floored. I was like, what? People who look like me are doing what in the world? It immediately made me want to be a part of it somehow. I mean, you go from wanting to be a part of it to being a part of it. What kind of training did that require? Well, first I had to get scuba trained. I, I didn't know how. <laughs> well, there's that little thing. <laughs> how long did that take? So it took me about three months to get my scuba certification. And then it took almost another year to get the training that I needed to participate in diving with a purpose. Mm. I had to get 30 ocean dives under my belt. And I think it was somewhere around like dive number five um, that I got clear that I wanted to tell a story about this. Mm. I was like, wait a minute, this is a story to tell. People need to know about this work and they need to know about this history. This is, I mean, I, I'm in awe, truly, of this and the storytelling that's come out of it. It's life-changing, right? It's life-changing for you and for those of us who read this history because it is ancestral history for some of us, but it is our history that's never been taught and never been shown. And now you show it through this beautiful lens of diving. You're like, yes, yeah. that's my job. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you're, in, when you're underwater and, and you're just, because I, I don't swim, but for some reason I did a story on diving once. The thing that struck me was I did not sign insurance papers either. I was underneath and what struck me is this incredible wall of silence, but your eyes are overwhelmed by what you see. When you're in that, that bubble of silence, how do you reflect on this version of storytelling of the journalist that you are in this journey? I think your, your words were really um, perfect there. Like, there is silence. 
And so inside of that silence, you are super present. Um, you're present to your breath. You're present to your surroundings. Um, you can really feel what's happening under the water. Mm. I, I know in the, in the sizzle reel that you shared, this stat was, um, was shared. And it's a stat that really sits with me. And I think it comes with me whenever I'm under the water. The fact that 1.8 million Africans died in the Middle Passage is not a number that I think most people know. Um, most of those people who died have never been mourned. They've never been grieved. There are no memorials to them. So when I'm under the water, I am thinking a lot about acknowledging these people and honoring these people. And that gives me such joy and pride. Mm. It gives me power and agency um, to help bring these lost stories up from the ocean bottom and bring them back into collective human memory. So it feels really powerful. Oh, I could listen to you all day, and we have that opportunity to do it with your podcast series, Into the Depths. Tara, congratulations on everything and the remarkable storytelling that you bring to the world. Again, the podcast, Into the Depths. Please check it out.